Well, they probably will now. (laughs) (laughs) 
just for my fishing guys, we're not marking fish right now. <laughs> yeah, that's important. We want to make sure yeah. that the fishermen aren't getting upset. <laughs> Well, it's definitely a view you don't see on television, that's yeah. for sure, right? It's just unbelievable. It is. He just, he really cannot appreciate the magnitude of the size of this ship until you're looking at it from right here and looking at those containers, some of them stacked up, you know, five, six, seven containers high. Imagine being out at sea in rough waters yeah. next to something like that. And as we're rounding uh, the back side of the boat here, we're still at about 22 feet of depth. So Evergreen promised us about 12,000 stars if we get them on <laughs> plug right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that gives you a good idea of how many you're stacked right there. Well, wow. we can get more on this side. Yeah, this is amazing. I mean, from this point of view, it's amazing. And of course, for those of you who are just joining us, we're looking at the Ever Forward. The boat is commissioned out of Hong Kong in China. It's part of the Evergreen fleet of F-Class series boats. One of its sister ships is, in fact, the boat that also ran aground and lost power um, in the Suez Canal, or actually it stopped in the Suez Canal last year, had some difficulties. Um, it caused some difficulties for international shipping. But again, you can't help but wonder how many people are running on orders that are up there in those containers right now. We haven't seen any of the crew come out just yet, but they might not want to, they might not want to come out and wait to us. Sorry for the shaky camera, folks. I'm trying to hold on and uh, shoot at the same time, so it's all good. Well, I think our captain's doing a fabulous job of giving us the yeah. three-hour tour, so. <laughs> and, and Ginger's and he, going pretty good herself. I mean, yeah. that's not bad. We have to put up with this for <laughs> We got Marianne up front. <laughs> yes, I'm good again. We need the professor out here to come up with a solution for the effort. So the depth right now where we are is what? This is 28 on this side. Wow, 28 feet. Back. Okay, 28. 31 on the other side. 35 on the back and 21 on the other side. That's crazy. So this point didn't make the turn. What do you all think about this report? I can't see the comments because Jim's filming, so I'm just taking in this massive ship and just trying to. I think somebody said they it. gave you a thousand stars if you did the polar bear plunge right now. No, I don't know. No, I don't know. sorry, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> forty-five degree water. Wow. Yeah, it's forty-five degrees. I don't have a wetsuit on. I'm, I'm not that warm-blooded. Yeah, I thought you were saying that's not going anywhere fast. I mean, they are correct. It is stuck. Well, they may have to eventually change the name, unfortunately. Why don't you all write in the comments what you think the new name should be for this boat once they get it out of here. So uh, we are going to be uh, doing another report here in just a few minutes. We're going to stop and we're going to do a report. We're going to talk about um, the update from the Coast Guard, everything that we know so far, the latest update from them. And then again, we've spoken with the Coast Guard today as well as the Maryland Port Authority. And we are expecting another update from the Coast Guard sometime late today. Uh, they said that they were working on uh, some new information about this situation. And uh, we want to go ahead and report that to you as soon as we get it. So right now we're signing off from the middle of the Chesapeake Bay. We're here next uh, to the Ever Forward by the Evergreen Company. Um, again, the ship hails out of Hong Kong, and uh, it is stuck currently in the middle of the Chesapeake Bay shipping lane. Uh, so we're down to just one single lane. It's kind of like the Bay Bridge at one point when you have single traffic um, and you're trying to get home on a Sunday and, you know, you just 
can't go both ways. Or you can only you can only go one way in the morning. So uh, that's what we've got going on here because only one ship can come through this channel uh, at a time at this point. So again, the tugboats have left for this for this time, um, and we're awaiting an update on what is going to happen next. The last update we had from the Coast Guard said that they were taking bids. Uh, from a company, Jim. I don't know if you wanted to add a little bit more. Yeah, they said they were trying to uh, put out some bids to see whoever can get this thing fixed. Um, that's never a good sign. So this, you know, seems like it's going to be stuck for a while. It's like a lot of building materials up there. I'm looking over yeah. containers, and I see a lot of bamboo flooring. So if you are remodeling your house or you're waiting to move into a new home, you're not getting that bamboo flooring for a while yeah, uh, until they bad. figure out how to unload these. So what we know when we check the ship's manifest uh, is that it did contain a lot of building materials uh, as it came in and out of the port in New York. So um, we're going to slow down here and uh, do another report for you with the update from the Coast Guard. But thank you, everybody, for joining us. I want to give a shout out to uh, our captain who's been taking us on this journey today. One more time, sir, your name? Chuck Jones with SaltySirenFishing.com. You're awesome. How do you call you? How do you get the holy real quick? Uh, the best best way is either through our Facebook, Instagram, or or uh, or website. Awesome, yeah. awesome, very good. Well, thank right. you so much for your help. Right. It was awesome. All right, guys, we're gonna sign off from here. Uh, we appreciate your support as always. Um, you know, this, this is something you don't see every day, so we do appreciate um, this fine captain bringing us out here and letting us try to interview the boat, but it, it, it just wouldn't talk back to us. So it's all good. So. Coming to you from uh, the entrance of the Chesapeake Bay, I'm Jim Getz. And I like Boston. <laughs> She's like captivated by the ship. All right, guys, we'll talk to you in a bit.